produced in only one direction in a coil. Now, the thing we have to think about is this field extends into the other side of this coil. So, even though this side of the coil is being... Motherfucking microphone! From this magnet, this side of the coil is too. Okay, as requested by coil. several so viewers, the magnet on the inside of the coil, we've got a few questions about the reproduction and replication of this multi-vibrator. Forgive the lighting, absolutely terrible. It's pretty late out here. Questions mainly pertain to what these waves look like on the oscilloscope. Particularly this little holding electromagnet I'm using to trigger the apparatus. Which is incidentally a fairly basic multi-vibrator. Chain drive, pendulum, and a handful of weights. So, here we go, Ross. What I've got here is a scope and a couple of square waves. And what I'm going to do is rip that off there. And view on the scope the wave coming out of my little coil. Which incidentally is exactly what you would expect to see. But it does pose a rather curious question. You can see how it's interacting with the scope, you can see how it's interacting with the coil. Right, and what I want to point out is this flat spot right here. This flat spot right here is actually the center of the Oopsie magnet. Oopsie, go the other way a bit. Alright. Now the flat spot you're talking about up here, buddy, right here is, the center of the magnet. is obviously and more like a proper sine wave, so you'll have to bear with me, because the duty cycle of this pendulum is only a few percent. Now, now one thing you've got to remember space. is if the magnetic field you've got is a pretty well like this, dead even positive and yeah. negative and a flat spot, almost completely flat transition. And here is the magnet. Now, okay. What perplexes so me about this is, so of course, we're not playing around with this the other night. The magnet we've got on the bottom of this pendulum is a square neo. It's a round neos that are actually both north pole facing out. They're actually strictly opposing to um, push this pendulum away. I'll let it go again. I was getting more what you were describing. In fact, specifically exactly what you were describing whilst triggering the coil. This sine wave with these flat spots. Now I was getting exactly that using the round magnets that I've got over here on the side I'm trying to crush my camera uh, instead of the square magnets in the way. One thing you got to remember is that the magnetic field is being generated like this Now we can probably reproduce that without any difficulties whatsoever but as far as I can tell the only difference between the two other than the obvious geometry is the fact that the round magnets are about an inch thick, thus have a, a more significant null point in the middle than the square magnets that do not. Now any insight you can offer into this, or if not for each other, is going to be immensely helpful because I suspect this may have something to do with nullifying Lens law. Um, now in my experience, Lens law as I was taught as a student it's pretty well infallible, very useful, and a very important part of electronics. Not just because it precludes the possibility of any excess energy being produced. How do you get the magnet? But understanding it, we'll see what we can do to break the law. As we know, there is not a single law out there that was created not to be broken. North, north, I'm really hoping that's the case anyway, because I have all the intention in the world 
of trying to break it. So this is the way these are going to try it. to align themselves. Breaking it, however, is another south, story. Because if I can't now, break it, to prove I'm going to have to hook my okay. so getting too close to that big house and my home heating. Right? So right now, you know, north and south gravity are instead. to each other. So and that's a pretty heavy duty job. Them apart, right? These two if we can use existing electric technology to do it, motor generators, etc. Equally so convenient. These two are attracted to each other. So, right, as you can tell. Keep the video pretty short. So therefore, they should attract each other. Touch, like buddy. That. And look, they do. So north, south, north, south. Okay, that's exactly that's exactly what we got right here.